morning students gauzy mark theorem stated a linear model uh, the classical assumption we have in the ordinary least square method and we have estimate we have in the minimum variance you want to be apply okay, we have in the best linear and biased one here in this one this formula is important okay this alpha alpha plus beta x1 plus ui you have to write the all that uh, the derivation points so what is the expression the where conditions explain all the parameter then you can remember this particular point e equal to ui e equal to zero e ui is quite equal to uh, the sigma ui squared and this e of ui and ui and uj having the zero i not equal to j when i go over y equal to alpha plus beta x1 plus ui you have to apply by a wireless method wireless method now cover me as that is a b the bias bias one had to check the b b cap is there summation of x1 by yi by summation of x squared it is very easy for that x i into yi by s squared we have to put that in the alpha cap also yi value go from as b cap minus x i also where you where small yi go from as capital yi minus y vector x i go from as x i by x i minus x vector is there now having the b b caps are there we can substitute the formula in the formula yi formula we replace this particular formula After formula we multi after formula substituting we have to multiply this one after multiplying both inside we got some answer that we have to divide that one divide that into this separate separate x i x i and y i by x squared minus x i by y vector having another 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 divide divide and apply by the equilateral then one particular term then having the sum is my x i go for zero so automatically this term become a zero so remaining value as the sum is my x i and y i by sum is my x i squared will be there. Now finally we got by the summation of x i by y i by summation of x i squared. So this one we have to write from as the on alternative method for this particular x i uh, summation of x i by x x i by summation of x i squared. Write by as the k i value. So summation of k i into y i can able to derive that one. Well, the estimator when I go for the b cap value least linear estimator because of the linear function observed by the variable of y i. Similarly, we can prove that when there is the alpha alpha cap is also be as the linear function observed by the y value. So b cap value is summation of k i with the y i value. Summation of k i. What is the y i value? Y i value already already know that the alpha plus beta x one plus u i value is there. We cross multiply the one. Cross multiply. We have to substitute the value from as the k i both side. When I substitute by here, the having the that, um, that alpha value coming out, so beta value coming out also is the in front of us. So uh, we got the value. Okay, we got the value k i into x i value plus k i into u i value is there. Already we know that k i into u i value. Now we have already that we have to substitute here. When I take in this is the k i value. We want to calculate by k one value. K i value to be calculated. K one value is the x i by x squared is there. We have apply by some is not k i value equal to x i by x squared equal to zero. So automatically he can substitute as the one formula is the k i. Then we have in the reserve this particular k i became as zero, so automatically this value becomes zero. Then here having the reserve k i, the k i having the k i plus one. Here the k i with the x i value became as one. K i and the x i value become one, so we have in the b value side. So we have to substitute here. First of all, we have to make the summation of k i want to substitute it. After substituting the k i and the x i value, substituting the value this x i value. We are substituting with the x i minus x cap value on multiply multiply both side. We will only try by the entire thing. We simply prove that having the finally having the reserve one we can able to try. Here we can remove the formula zero plus beta plus summation of k i u i will be there. Once the zero will be removed, having the b plus summation of k i and u i will be there. U i value already we know that u i value becomes zero and e of u i becomes zero. So the estimator of the b cap value becomes this full term becomes zero. So the output will be b. So automatically the estimator of the b cap value equal to b. The already prove that the b cap is the unbiased estimator want to be applied. Similarly, I have to prove by the alpha cap value also having the alpha with having the oil estimator with having the unbiased one. Now go from as the variance want to be applied here. Variance of the b cap value. The already we know the b b cap value. E of b cap is that e of b cap for square root of a. Okay, here having the e of b cap. We already know that is b is there. So automatically b cap minus b square want to be applied. Here the b value we replace from as the e of e extra uh, estimator of that is the summation of the k i into u i squared is there. So here you want to substitute from the k i into u i squared a plus b whole square want to be applied. The formula are substituted here. When having i and j not equal to zero, we can uh, take from as the estimator value. If you want to go inside value, summation only come there. The estimator going to be separate. 
the summation of k squared e of e of u squared and 2 into summation of k and u will be there and e i squared is there. Now we substitute this one, we got the value is that. Okay, here I mean that is a u i squared. u is become 0, automatically the term becomes 0. Then I mean the k squared is there. Here I mean that is a 2. So I mean the k i and this particular formula is there. Sigma of u i squared will be there. Sigma of u i squared want to be applied. Don't only try it by entire derivation. Simply you can try it. What do you write? Variance of b value over as the sigma u u squared and also summation of the x squared by n of the summation of x squared. Now we will take by that is the variance square value you can got it. Similarly, this means as the variance of beta value over as the this one. The sigma u i squared by 1 by epsilon by e i epsilon by a x i squared want to be applied. Similarly, applied by the variance of x i also have to be applied same method. Instead of 1, you can apply by the x value want to be applied. Similarly, write by there is a b, a b star also, the arbitrary least estimator value. b star over for as the summation of the w i into y i is are there. So, w i having there is a x i plus a e i will be there. For y i, replace with having the formula. After 3, we here alpha value coming out. We already know the summation of the w i. Here, w i will be there. Here is a beta is there. When you apply by e of the epsilon, the estimator value want to apply to this here, the automatically, wherever u will be there now, wherever u is there, that time, that particular place only having the estimator want to become there. Remaining and all as it is will be there. We want to take the value, summation of the sum, the alpha into summation of wy and the beta into summation of wy into the, this term become fully zero. Because this become a zero, automatically zero. So having xi will be there. If you want to consider by this one equivalent to this b1 value. So the estimator of that is the b star group minus the b. If, if and only e, the summation of w equal to zero, summation of the w and xi equal to one. So yeah. yeah Estimator of the B star equal to B, we just conclude this one only. So conclude this one, you just to, you try to write by the variance of the B star equal to, write this only this formula. Already know the B star minus E of B star whole squared are there. We apply by the B star minus B whole square want to be applied. This derivation is not possible to remember. Okay, you finally write by this particular step for them. Particular step, then you can able to conclude that one. Same thing will be compromised as the B star also same, alpha A star also having the same. So, the A star have in the another estimator of the alpha value, the OL estimator have in the, the alpha cap and the B cap also in the minimum the variance. Thus, we have in the things by the OL estimator, the best linear unbiased one. Best means as the minimum variance, linear means the linear function as observed value. Unbiased one is the, the expected value of the OL estimator and equal to the actual value of the parameter as a scalable blue property. Thank you.